afternoon to my YouTube friends out there. I am back and I want to thank you guys so much for leaving all your wonderful comments. I love you guys. Thank you so very much. But I'm back to do a video because I went shopping. I went to the post office. I did all that. I thought I was gone making videos, but I got a little bored and I said, you know what? I'm going to get on here and I'm going to review mascaras because I love mascaras. Even though I don't have many lashes, but I'm going to just do a review on some mascaras that I like and the ones that I don't like. So let's get into this little review real quick. The number one thing that I went back to is Better Than Sex Mascara. This is amazing mascara. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> and it's 93% um, okay, base to the tip curl of your lashes. 100% dramatic volume and 100% longer lashes plus 90 dramatic look with one coat. And you know what? They're not lying. This is one amazing mascara. I went to um, Ulta today and I picked it up. I was looking for the uh, peanut butter and jelly um, palette. It's not out yet until tomorrow online and you can order it. So that's what I'm after, that peanut butter and jelly palette. So... I love this mascara. The other thing is that I love the Kim. I finally found another black one. <laughs> I thank God for it. This is the Kim Kardashian liner pencil. It is amazing. I buy it at Ulta, and every time I see it, I always try to get it. But sometimes they never have it, and they never have it in black. But this is what it looks like right here. And it also has this gold around here. I love that, Kim Kardashian. And it's so smooth to the touch. So smooth to the touch. I'm going to do that one more time. As you can see, Kim Kardashian, my son, is coming in through the patio. But our weather is beautiful here in California right now. We're like in the mid-70s, so it's really, really nice. So, yeah, that's Kim Kardashian in black. I love this. Also, when you use this mascara, it also helps with your lashes to lift them up a lot faster to be able to drop them lashes on there and be out with it because I use, I have a little small sample one that I use when I do my lashes and that's what I use. Now, let's get into some mascaras that I purchased, the ones I don't like and all that good stuff. Okay, I have the Milani Lashes. I forgot my X-rated mascara. Ah, I left it in my makeup room. But anyway, everybody knows about the X-rated mascara, hopefully. I was going to review that, but it's too late now. Ah, I forgot it. Um, but this is Milani, <clears throat> and I use a drugstore mascara, and I love this mascara. But it gets all around there. gets kind of messy. It's a little dried out right now, but this is the one on that one. Um... This mascara, the Revlon Dramatic Definition Mascara, I really didn't too much like this. I won't purchase it again. I bought it because it was purple. That's my favorite color. But this is the one on it. It it doesn't, it says Dramatic Definition. No, I didn't recognize anything that had anything to do with Dramatic, dramatic Definition. It would curve my lashes, but it wouldn't be dramatic like that. They put that word on there and make you go get it, but it's not all like that. Another mascara that I like, but I won't purchase it is NARS, and I'm not saying it's not good. I just won't purchase it again. Um, this is the one on the NARS. It's okay. It's nothing to brag about. It's okay. That's it. You know. One mascara I wanted to love and love and love is Perversion by um, Urban Decay. It's too wet for me. It's just so wet. And it's wet on my lashes. It's wet on my lips. It's just wet. And it takes a good little time to dry. And it makes my eyes irritated. I can't purchase them anymore. I can't buy this one anymore. This is the end of this. Another thing I got that I'm not going to open it, but this is the Maybelline Sensational. I love this mascara. I bought four and five of these, and I bought another one. I've had this for a while. I've had it at least almost a month. So this, yeah, this is by Maybelline. It's very, very good. 
The other one that I purchased from L'Oreal, this is the Miss Mango Lashes Black Angel. This is number one of their mascaras that I really love. I love Maybelline um, over CoverGirl any day. Maybelline is really, really good. Uh, I mean, uh, L'Oreal, I'm sorry. L'Oreal is really good. I like Maybelline too, but I like Maybelline more than I like CoverGirl. You get my drift on that? <laughs> okay. So, Miss Mango, this is the bomb right here. And I was going to talk about the X-rated mascara. I was in Ulta and I was talking to the, they had the uh, representative in there for Too Faced. And she was doing a makeover on someone. And then I talked with the girl that works at Benefit and she said that um, everybody's been complaining about that um, Smashbox X-rated. It's really messy. Like, soon as you have your product, it, it, it smashes. As soon as you put the top on, all of it smashes around there and just gets all over the place. But I bought it because I was a sucker for packaging because it says X-rated on there. And, you know, when we see stuff like that, you know, it excites us. So we want to try it out. So that's exactly what I did. And I just won't purchase that one again. So you learn, you learn, you learn by all this stuff. But I can tell you one thing. This one right here is a keeper. I will always, every time I get me a little extra money, I'm going to purchase this, better than sex, because it does the job. So I love you guys out there. Please rate and subscribe, and please um, leave your comments down below. You know I love my comments. God bless, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.